Galactic Free Press update. Love is here and there's nowhere to hide. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. With this planet-wide portal completely open, much is occurring at a faster rate, which is assisting us in our divine decrees manifestation. Many events are coming together into the one timeline for an event which will herald in the golden age and peace on earth equal heart. What this also means is the entire consciousness of love has all eyes on an earth equal heart. There is nowhere to hide. We are here. Update from Gaia Portal. Full portal opening in air and expansion of existing air stargate has been completed via the 9-9 Gaia Worldwide window. Full portal opening in Gaia and expansion of existing Gaia Stargate has been completed via the 9-9 Gaia Worldwide window. Connection of Erie Stargate and Gaia Stargate has been completed via this 9-9 Gaia Worldwide, win Worldwide window. Mirror Stargates in Hawaii, Peru, New Zealand, Mexico, and Texas have connected with these via 5D conduits. Gaia Planetary Star Stargate has now been activated. Here's what JFK had to share in his transcript with Ashtar Command through Susan Leland. And I want to tell you how grateful I am to have this opportunity to be in such closeness with so many of my Starseed brothers and sisters and to share in the planning for the homecoming for all of you. This is a grand and glorious opportunity, and I have traveled many places on many ships since then, and I have availed myself of some technologies that you will be receiving for your own use. Think about it. Those of you who are of my generation or younger, the young ones, the flower children, you have reached an age where you'll be so joyful to receive all these wonderful gifts, these technologies. I also knew not only about the healing technologies, but about the healings for all planet Earth, such as the end of the fossil fuels, because I knew they were not necessary. I had opportunities, and, had, and I've had opportunities since, to connect with various members of other Gaia's kingdoms, representatives, you call them, the divas, the spirits, and I know how the Ashtar Command and the other ships attached, or traveling with the command now, I should say hovering above planet Earth, I know how effective they can be and how quickly they can partner with you to clean up the, the entire planet, to get rid of all the toxic footprints that the corporations have put in place. And I see this as done. And of course, on the political and financial scenes, I had NASA ideas or inspirations before NASA was ever written. I knew that the IRS was simply the modern day equivalent of King's tax collectors collecting for, again, the Illuminati. I knew that the Federal Reserve Bank was, or shall we say, those in charge of the Federal Reserve System were conspiring even then. I signed executive orders dealing with the cleanup of the financial control, clearing it up, ending it, so that not only Americans, <clears throat> but the entire world could truly live the great American dream. And most particularly, it is so appropriate that we gather together for this mission on this day of 9-11, because it's time for all of the hurt, all of the pain, and certainly all the lies that you have been told to be transmuted by this flame of love into truth and freedom for all, from all of those who have wrought such pain and destruction upon this planet. And even as we do this, it is for us to forgive and hold them in a space of honor. That is the gratitude for showing us where we, where we no longer are to be, because love is prevailing at long last and never shall its flame be extinguished forevermore on planet Earth. My fellow citizens of this planet, I thank you for your presence and for the love that we share. You are so beautiful, and I see you upon your golden path, and I tell you that I, too, shall be where you come to welcome you, to welcome you home. Wonderful, wonderful workers of light, we shall call you the Freedom Corps, whose greatest gift to the planet is love unconditional, compassionate, and forgiving love, end of quote. 
Our continued love and support go out to the real Michelle and Obama. Earth ally David Baker had this to share about Obama and how the planet just needs more love. Obama motives. He is not the one doing the pencil, folks. For those of you who think he is the one with the power of making decisions in the Oval Office, this won't apply to that level of consciousness. He knows what he's doing. The more chaos, the closer to the announcements that up to date he has not dared to make on mainstream media due to, the, due to who owns and or at least controls most of it. These announcements will imprison many many who you believe to be working for you. If all 3D goes to hell in the handbasket, which is well and obvious, that's where 3D mostly exists, then he is to make the disclosures this October. These disclosures have to do with the ones that are responsible in the interference with the evolutionary process of Mother Earth and with us. For those of you who have not bought into the lies about war being what has given us freedom and keeps you free, you are about to wake up on the new side of the bed the one that you have been so sound asleep in. It was the movements of us in the 60s, hippies, peace brother, and then in 1987, the harmonic convergence, humans holding hands around the entire planet, that first began, began to rattle the illumination's feathers as they began to see what the wish to control don't wish to be controlled. And now we have stood straight up and proclaimed our sovereignty as a human race, I will occupy my land. If you want to know the source of power behind this movement that has now become irreversible, just shine some love into the next pair of eyes you see, and you will acquire this great knowledge. The one thing the world has always needed more of is love. End of quote. Within these energies of pure love coming in, all the lies are coming to the forefront to be cleansed by source energy and replaced with the higher frequencies of love. Through this, the truth is coming directly to the forefront. We have entered a light breakthrough energy point, and we cannot go back now. This incoming experience, many who are ready to jump into the new paradigm, completely will be catapulted into the present moment of now through a series of synchronistic events. We are indeed in magical moments on this planet for those who are aware. All is coming into place, and the true freedom of a planet unified in love and true living presence is the highest outcome which can occur as decreed. Decreed by heaven, the truth is coming directly to the forefront. Through this, all illusion dissolves inevitably. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love, the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew team.